Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Enjoy the Bounty of Planning with Tonisha Taylor. So I had to come on here real quick and do this unboxing. I am so excited, y'all. This is one of my cloth and paper orders from Black Friday. But because I was so excited when the box came and got dropped off, I didn't even go to the to my computer to look and see which order this is this morning i was just like oh my gosh i'm jumping out i'm doing this unboxing because i have to start work in a bit <laughs> so um it's a work from home day but still mm, yummy coffee okay uh and it's finals week so for all of y'all out there who are students who are faculty who are administrators i know Probably not so much as a student, like this was my favorite time of year because it's the end of the semester and you're just like, thank God I made it. But as a faculty member, yo, this is it for me. Like this is the end, I love it. Um, so let's dig in. Ooh, yay, yay, yay. Let's dig into our Black Friday orders. So one of the things I am super excited about is this fossil nylon pencil case from cloth and paper so i love that they have like a little bit of something in there to keep it structure but i love this so if you are a sub box person we received an olive colored one of these in one of the sub boxes i'll try to remember to link the unboxing for that somewhere but I really wanted the fossil to go with the fossil leather notebook and the executive notebook. <laughs> like, look at, look at that. Oh my gosh. And then also to go with my planner. Now there is going to be a video that'll go up before this one of this um, kind of discussion slash unboxing. Um, so, but look at how beautiful that looks. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. I love this fossil color. So on the inside, it does have that fossil leather and in silver, it just says cloth and paper. It is nylon on the inside. There are no pockets. And, um, this is big enough to hold a Tombow. Uh, so you can uh, put those Tombow, your favorite Tombow highlighters in there. And there is plenty of room. I really wanted to get this one because I uh, just also got the um, Black Mask Daily Tote from Notique. And so any dark pencil cases, you know, they're just going to get lost in there. And so I wanted to get this one for that too. Uh, but so that's exciting. And then I am in love with this new thing. So I guess we're not doing tissue paper anymore from cloth and paper. I don't know if this is just a Black Friday thing or if this is going to be the way it's going to be going forward. And there have been a lot of people who have been on here commenting on this. I commented on this in my other video when I because I did the Legends and Icons Black Friday sale from them too. I love that we're getting these little dust bags. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do with that in the future, but I'm going to do something. So... Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so the, oh, yay, oh, yay. Okay, so uh, <laughs> you shouldn't be that excited about page flags, um, but here we are. So let's pull those out. So we have our little cellophane that has our order information in it, and then the freebie and the journaling cards. So these are the, I guess must be the November journaling cards that you're getting as freebies. So because I have a bunch of November orders, I'm gonna end up with a bunch of these. I'll probably end up gifting some of them uh, with the next set of um, cloth and paper gifts that I do. Uh, so this, I love, oh my gosh. So when they did a 
smidge of these um during a happy hour i was like oh my god i cannot wait till those go up so these are the little page what they're calling page pins it's a set of five they're super cute right and so you've got it doesn't i don't think they say what the palette is but it's palette number one so which lets you know they're probably going to do additional color palettes going forward but i absolutely love these colors i'm also really into the fact <laughs> pulling this right off the paper that it's on this clear piece of like i guess that's plastic uh because it feels thicker than vellum but i love that like because you could just take that off and now you can stick this just in your planner or even put a clear which i probably will do uh because i have some double-sided tape i may just actually tape this right to the inside of my planner and be able to just have these so I can just use them for whenever, right? Like, how cute is that? How cute is that? Because you're not going to want to necessarily stick that in a pocket because it's definitely going to get lost down there. Uh, the same would be true even if you tried to stick it in a card slot pocket back here, right? It's going to get lost. It's, it's shorter than that, so it's going to get lost down there. But you could stick it if you have one of these. This one's from Poi and Hun. But if you have one of these card slots in the back of your planner, you could stick it back here. And it would definitely fit, no problem. Okay. So that is super cute. Love that. So that was a freebie. So I ordered these uh, small plastic discs because I want to trade out uh, something that's on black discs and put them on clear discs. I think those are 0.75, but let's check the order slip to make sure because they could be they could be the 0.5. But let's look. Nope, they're 0.75. So these are going to be 0.75. So we'll set that up in a second. And then I ordered the page circles in Demure. Which I just love this color. Look at how beautifully transparent that is. What a gorgeous color that is. Like, is that not yummy? It is kind of the Demure... How would I describe this? It's it mm, it's not lavender. It's not purple. It's very, it has like a rose tint, I guess. It's definitely in that sort of a neutral brown, kind of brown gray space. But I just love how pretty that is. These are transparent, so you're gonna need to write on those with an oil-based marker. Love those. And then I also ordered the circle page flags in volume 10. This is one of the volumes I didn't already have. So this one is, I believe, uh, this one is, let's see if it tells me. Oh, it tells me what these colors are too. So going back to the page pens. So these are... Uh, in the color Leche, Cashmere, Nude. Oh wait, that can't be right. Because then it's saying that this is the next one list is avant-garde and matte white. So it must be matte white, <laughs> Leche, Cashmere, Nude. This is avant-garde. And I forgot to do the little test. So this avant-garde is transparent, but on black writing, you're not going to be able to see that black writing through there. Okay. And then 
you have your nude, which is quite sheer. And what a perfect little, aren't those? These page pens to me are so perfect for something like, I don't know how many people still get library books, but I do. Um, and so I love this for being able to highlight some text in a library book that I have to send back, right? Like how beautiful is this? Kind of low-key want to go order a library book just or go pick up a library book just to use them. That's another beautiful color. So that must be that cashmere color. And this is going to be leche. Oops, right next to it. Which is another kind of, this one's, oh yeah. Look at that. That is, that is basically gone. <laughs> and then this color that must be the white. Okay, yeah, so if you're somebody who likes to color code their, you know, use some kind of color coding for these, I'm going to tell you the Leche, this is Leche, sorry, and this is Matt White. Those are basically the same color when they're not stacked on top of each other. <laughs> you could tell this one's a little bit yellow and this one's really clear. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> uh, but... I love these. Okay, then we have, then we have the circles and the circles are in matte white. So that's gonna be matte white. Again, look at how clear that white is. Like, again, great if you're in a library book or something like that. And then we have avant-garde, which is going to be your black. Now, I've had other avant-garde transparent stickers, stickies before. You definitely have to use a white oil-based pen for these uh, because they are very, very dark, very saturated and, uh, for that black color. And then we have our Verona, which is just that gorgeous gray color. So look at how lovely that is. Look at how completely transparent that white matte transparent sticker is. Like that completely disappears into the paper. Um, but so great, right? I love these. Love, love, love these. So let me grab real quick my white pen because I have a, okay, so I guess I must have, it's been a while since I've used a black transparent uh, sticky, <laughs> I guess. I've run out of, my white pens must have run out of ink and then I didn't replace them. So I'm gonna try this yellow one and see. I don't have a lot of hope though. <laughs> so this is matte white. And this is Verona. And this is, I feel like I, I'm like nervous. I know it's not going to probably work, so I like can't spell. Um, this is going to be avant-garde. Yeah, so that's not... Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to have to buy some white Sharpie because <laughs> you definitely could not see that at all. 
Mm. So, oh well, no worries. I though absolutely adore this little trio. Can't wait to use that. So one of the other things that I ordered was uh, to finish out my 2023 setup. I ordered some more uh, of the dividers from Cloth and Paper. These uh, are the glass plot. Wait, are they glass plus? No, they're blank side tab planner dividers. They are listed as glass plastic. So they are kind of, um, they're slick on the front and then on the back, they're kind of textured and they are a little bit frosted. These are the same ones that I've used before from them. I've ordered dividers from other companies in the past as well. And I really do like them from cloth and paper. I decided that for 2023, I want to redo my section labels because they're kind of all over the place. And my tabs are in like such a weird order. And I want to reorder everything and have everything going in a row. So pro tip, if you're getting blank tabs like this, uh, use a sticky <laughs> like this to be able to label your tabs just temporarily till you decide for sure if that's the label or if that's the topic you want the, the tab to be called, right? So I use either circle ones, I've used half circle ones in the past, uh, or square page flags, whatever you have on hand to label it before you commit to using your label maker to make a label for this. Because no matter what you use for a label maker, once it's on, it's going to be harder to get off. And if you change your mind and decide you don't want the topic to be that anymore, you, you're going to have to go ahead and spend some minutes trying to get it off. So before you commit, use a sticky note to test your thoughts on that. Uh, and then just, you know, you can throw them away. <laughs> okay. So we got that. The last two things that I ordered... I did also order another set of glass plastic covers uh, also for my uh, half letter. So I ordered these because I am still very much thinking about separating my planner from my notebook. And so if I decide to go ahead and do that, then this notebook is going to need a cover uh, for it when it's in, um, even when it's in a planner agenda cover like this, because something's got to stick in the back. <laughs> and so I decided to go ahead and pick this up. Now this is listed as the glass plastic notebook cover. But I noticed that it has that same frosted kind of feeling as the dividers. This does have a nice rounded edge, which is really lovely. Uh, and so I look forward to being able to use this because I'm not seeing, I think it actually is like a frosted coating and not those little plastic covers. Uh, so I'm looking forward to being able to use that uh, right away. And then the last thing that I have is I went ahead and purchased the ellipsis stickers in linen. I absolutely love this color from cloth and paper. I have the dots. I have the circle. <laughs> um, I have uh, the spotlight circles. I think I also have I, I think I also have some uh, transparent stickies in linen as well. So these are just those note or those ellipsis stickers in again that linen color. 
They are super pretty. You gotta absolutely love them. They're a little bit stuck together. There we go. So uh, you can see here, we'll just stick that on there so you can see kind of the color. That linen color, let's do it this way. That linen color is so, so pretty. It's kind of like a little bit of a lavender kind of a uh, tone, or maybe not lavender, kind of like a pinky purple kind of cast to it, uh, but definitely with a brown undertone. Again, you can write on these, uh, and you'll just need to use an oil-based pen to do that, and it looks great. So, for those of you who are new here, uh, whenever I do an unboxing, I also do a little bit of a setup. So I am going to set up the notebook. I'm going to leave these tabs. You'll see these being set up when I do my 2023 video to set up my 2023 plan, okay? Let's see, do I want to try and get these back in the plastic? Those both feel like they were the same size. Okay, let's see if we can get these back in the plastic. If we can't, I'm not going to fight with it. So, <laughs> if we could get it back in, great. If not, then, well, we tried. Uh, let's see. Are we winning? Are we winning? Okay, <laughs> cool. So we're gonna leave those in there. And these, we are going to switch out our notebook right now. So I'm a little bit kind of, <clears throat> for the last several weeks actually, I've been a little bit sad, agitated by how like chock full <laughs> my planner is and how like it doesn't I don't know it's just too much but we're also at that time of the year where I kind of I usually only have one month on my discs because I have notes for ongoing research projects I have notes for other like committees and things that I'm dealing with and I do often refer to both note sections to the research note section and to these projects um committees and, and department things if you're new here i'm a department chair uh and so i have a couple of grants that i manage you know university and school committees that i sit on and so i need to be able to have this note section but as you can see the notes are let me actually take this out of here the note section is fully half of the paper that's actually on this planner. And this is just the work notes. Like my research notes are in the middle of the actual planner. And I only have one month worth of calendars on here. So I have my overview section, I have my wellness section, which only has the month of December in it. My calendar section, which only has the month of December in it, right? Um, and then my research section and then my work section, which again, only has a month of December in it. And so I've really been trying to figure out if I want to go back to, there was a point where I had calendars on two sets of discs. I know I don't want to split the calendar apart because when I did that, I would, it was, it was a mess having the calendar on two sets of rings. Like I couldn't remember if I had personal things going on, work things going on on different dates. It was so weird. Like I do think for people who worry about using multiple calendars, especially using a separate work calendar and personal calendar about like, what are you gonna write on them? But also worry about over scheduling that or double booking. 
I think that could definitely happen if you don't have all of your calendars on one set of rings. Or if you're using rings, I'm using discs. And I really have to, I don't know why I keep saying rings lately. No, that does not mean I'm gonna buy some rings, y'all. <laughs> uh, so if you keep everything on one set of discs, it is easier to, because it's right there and you can just flip to it and know what you have going on. Okay, so these are the rose gold discs from Nautique. I love these, they're so beautiful. So we just snap those right on there. So pretty. And let's go ahead and let's figure out how we want to do this. Let's move that over there. Let's move that up there. And then let's come over here and let's go ahead and take these notes off. Now I do have a set of, I do have another notebook. Uh, is this it? Yeah, right here. Uh, this one also has the glass plastic. Now these are the glass, these are different glass plastic ones. These are the glass, I don't know if there's, it seems like there's definitely a difference. So these are, this is the glass plastic planner cover from cloth and paper and you can see this one's completely clear it this is the glass plastic notebook cover and it it's obviously not completely clear and i can't usually if this is like that little protective sheet covering there's like a place where you can see that it's kind of lifting to be able to pull it off I don't see anything like that. So I think that this is the way it is. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Use will tell the story. Uh, so, but I pulled this to say, I do have, uh, this is the same dividers with some of the same committees uh, from last year. So... Uh, and you're probably wondering yourself, well, Tanisha, if you already have a notebook, why not just put these things on this? These are actually, like I said, these are last year's notes. Uh, I need to keep them, but they're not, the, a lot of the things that are noted in here and projects that are in these sections are actually done. And I don't need to reference those every day or even every week. I need the current notes <laughs> for the same projects and I need to reference the current year especially for some of these a couple of these are grant projects for those of you who are new to academia grant projects are switched up. and actually this is going to be kind of noisy so let me just do this and then we'll talk about it on the other side Yeah, that just, that needed to happen. Okay. Because this is 
this is starting to feel like too much. So, what I left on here, I did leave the research section in here, uh, which I do find that leaving the research on with my planner does keep me focused on what the active things are in my research pipeline, active projects are, uh, and just saves me time. Whereas these also are still active projects, active committees that I'm sitting on and things like that. But I don't know, lately I've been feeling like there are times where like I need to take my planner with me, especially like I'm doing something that's more personal and I need to take my planner with me. And the weight is something that kind of like is throwing me off. But also I feel like when I have all of my work notes, in my mind then it's like okay well let me just I have a few minutes waiting for someone to come to meet for lunch or dinner or cocktails or coffee or whatever let me work on a work thing and it's like why am I working on a work thing on my personal time <laughs> like if you want to do something in your planner work on some personal stuff like uh, you know write some personal notes like deal with some personal things so yeah so I think it's because uh, starting to go to campus more frequently, be outside more, what have you. I'm wanting to have these be separate things for right now. And who knows, later on, I may go back to having them as one, you know, on one set of discs again, because uh, I certainly go back and forth on that. <laughs> so let's put this to the side. We have this now. I Again, I'm super excited about this. Now, these sections, I'm actually probably going to use these same sections. I'm just going to redo them on some new uh, dividers. These old dividers will go with the 2022 calendar into storage. So the other thing that I did order that I'm waiting for as one of my Black Friday orders is a new set of monthly tabs so that I can have some monthly tabs for my 2023 calendar because I, uh, just so you can see this tab, I don't, you still can't really tell. This tab has gold lettering. Um, can y'all see that? I hope so. Uh, so this tab has gold lettering. My new tabs that I ordered are going to have white lettering, um, which I did also order from Cloth and Paper. So that is what we've got going on for the setup. Um, and I, yeah, oh my gosh, that just, that just feels better. Like it's not bursting at the seams. <laughs> I didn't realize, but that was starting to kind of stress me out a little bit. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, that's so much better. Now, because these are 1.5 rings, just like these are, I am going to go ahead, though, because I do need to start uh, dealing with some things in January for 2023. So what I'm going to do is put January in here for, because I have it for work and personal because again I have some things that I need to start kind of thinking about and I think what I'm gonna do for work I have some work things for January February and March that we're finalizing some plans on right now at the end of the term and it's just gonna get more hectic if I don't because I keep trying to look for those months in here and I keep not having them and so it's starting, I think that's the other thing that was starting to really sort of bother me. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in.
you so much for joining me on this video. I, I know it got a little bit long. Uh, I think I was just really excited about getting some new things. Uh, but anyway, uh, make sure that you uh, like and subscribe if you uh, enjoy this content. So that way you'll know whenever I have new things. Uh, and I will see y'all in the next one. Enjoy the bounty of your plans. Bye, everybody.